Remember that story about an Oregon bakery refusing to bake a wedding cake for a lesbian wedding? Well, we have follow up on that. According to the advocate, state ad investigators now say that the Oregon bakery violated the law when it refused to make a wedding cake for two women, but would meanwhile bake cakes for pagan ceremonies human cloning divorces. This is amazing, Lewis. Listen to this. The owner of Sweet Cakes by Melissa in Gresham, Oregon, last year refused service to a lesbian couple, Rachel, Rachel Cryer and Laurel Bowman, saying that they were abominations to the Lord, according to the two women. The owners, Aaron and Melissa Klein, denied that they used the phrase abominations to the Lord, but they do admit that they turned them away. So the case got really strange when a local paper started placing orders for cakes to see if it was really true that they were not anti-gay, but simply very religious. So they put a cake order, uh, for example, for a divorce party because divorce is not allowed by the Bible, Lewis, and they gladly baked that cake. They did a cake for a celebration of a pagan solstice complete with a green pentagram decoration no problem baking that cake either. They did a congratulatory cake on a grant to study cloning human stem cells. That doesn't sound too literally biblically interpreted, but they baked that cake. And then they did another cake for a baby born out of wedlock. No problem at all baking that cake. So they don't do cakes that violate their religion. They're not at all anti-gay except for the fact that they turned down the lesbian cake while doing all of these others. Um, if they had the high and mighty Christian moral values that they claim are really guiding them here, as opposed to just being anti-gay bigots, you'd think they would have turned down the pagan ceremony with a, a pentagram on the cake, don't you think? Maybe, yeah. Or maybe they're really progressive, David, and uh, they're accepting of all these other things except for the gay marriage. Right? right. Well, now, a year after the incident, the Bureau of Labor and Industries has determined that the policy they have is just flat out illegal. According to the Oregonian, the owners will either have to settle or take the case to court, according to KGW TV. I love it when being anti gay and turning away money actually makes it so that you have to settle or go to court, wasting even more of your own money. It's not yet even legal for gay or lesbian couples to marry in Oregon, but they do have something called the Oregon Equality Act back from 2007, which ensures that customers cannot be discriminated against over their sexual orientation. By the way, according to the Oregonian, Sweet Cakes closed its doors and went online only in September. By the way, there's just kind of a logistical thing here. Wedding cakes aren't really served at weddings. They're served at receptions. It's just a party. Usually the party is not really even a religious thing. It's just a, a party cake, isn't it, Lewis? It is. Yeah. And it's, it's always amusing to see people that just have have no concept of their religion. But uh, I guess that's a lot of religious people.